How's it going everyone, it is Pangino here, and in today's quick video we're going to be covering something nearly every single one of you watching needs to know about to potentially fix issues you are currently experiencing on your PC, or something in which you can quickly and easily set up and adjust to ensure that you don't run into any of these potential issues moving forward. You can apply this optimization regardless of your system specs, it doesn't matter if you're in a high-end system, low-end system, Intel, Radeon, or Nvidia GPU. Tired of seeing the Activate Windows watermark, built a new PC, or just want to own Windows at a major discount, head over to WhoKeys to purchase a Windows 10, 11 home or pro OEM key at a major discount. Make sure to use code PAN20 for a further 20% off at checkout where you can use a safe and secure payment method such as PayPal. Once your key is delivered, simply input the key inside of Windows and boom, you're now completely activated and own Windows forever. You'll now have access to all features and no more watermark. Thanks again to WhoKeys for sponsoring today's video. In this video, we are going to be showing how to disable MPO with inside of Windows. MPO, or the multi-plane overlay, but the newer updates for both Windows 10 and Windows 11, and the new hardware which is now available to us, MPO actually seems to be introducing many issues into many people's PCs. If you have experienced black screens, gray screens, odd glitches or screen flickering, or potential game crashes, disabling the MPO in many cases and many reports has been noted to actually fix these issues for many people. It's super quick and easy to set up in your system and you can turn it back on at any time within a few seconds. If you do experience any problematic games that you know will crash almost instantly, I would definitely recommend booting those up, seeing if you do experience the crashing issues beforehand, jumping into the setting to disable MPO, then trying the game out after a system restart. There is still great value to be had if you're someone that is experiencing completely normal performance with their PC. By all means, if you're happy with your PC performance and you aren't running into any issues, then I wouldn't necessarily recommend applying a fix for something that isn't broken, but it's definitely a handy piece of knowledge to have in the back of your mind, or a potential fix if you do run into issues down the line, or you know someone that's having similar issues to the ones in which I described. The Windows MPO or multi-plane overlay allows Windows to draw multiple frame buffers without utilizing graphics or compute shaders. MPO, when integrated correctly, would be a fantastic thing to have on modern Windows and modern hardware, but unfortunately this does just seem to be causing more issues than it's fixing currently. So to disable MPO, it's very simple and easy to do. If you would like a one-click solution to be able to do this, you could head over to the NVIDIA support page, where you'll be able to find the MPO files which were actually provided by NVIDIA which will disable or restore the registry fixes on your PC automatically. You can do this, but I would recommend not downloading anything from external sources, as these days that's just not safe. So instead, I'm going to be showing you how to do this on your PC yourself completely manually, so you can enable and disable this without having to download a single thing. But first of all, going to navigate to the bottom left hand side, type regedit. Open up the Windows Registry Editor. Before we do anything, we're quickly going to be creating a backup of the Windows Registry, so for any reason in the future, even if it's five minutes from now if you decide you don't want this enabled anymore, or in the future and you've forgotten where this video is, but you can't remember how to disable this or how you created it in the first place, in which you can quickly and easily just double click on, restart your system, and the registry will be taken back to exactly what it is currently. It takes two seconds to do, so make sure that you do this. Go to the top left hand side to File, Export. Simply name the registry backup, we'll just call this Reg Backup, and save it somewhere where you remember. For me, I'm going to put it on the desktop. Once the registry backup has been created, at any time, if you want to restore your registry back using the backup you created, all you need to do is go to the regbackup.reg in which you created, double click on the file, select Yes, and that's it. The registry has been restored completely back to how it was before you changed anything in this video. You can still manually revert the change you're about to make yourself, so you don't have to do the whole backup process, but with how quick it is, I would definitely recommend that you quickly back up. We now need to navigate over to the location where we're going to be disabling MPO. For this, go to H key local machine, double click, navigate down to software, double click once again. Inside of here, scroll down towards the M section until you find Microsoft. Double click on Microsoft, then navigate all the way down to the W section, and we're looking for Windows. Inside of Windows, double click, make sure that the folder is titled just Windows, as there are many Windows folders underneath this, you'll then see DWM. Once you've double clicked on DWM, on the right hand side we then need to go to the blank area underneath all of these keys. Right click, select New, D Word 32 bit value. You now need to name the key in which we've just created. You can find the key name in the description down below, so you can simply copy and paste it if you would like to, just in case you're worried about any spelling mistakes. We're going to be calling this Overlay Test mode. Make sure that the O, the T and the M are capitalized. Then press enter. With the key created, double click on the key to be able to change the value. Make sure this is set to hexadecimal, set the value data to 5. Press OK, then that should be created. So you should now see overlay test mode, D word, and it's set to 5. Once that's been created, that will then disable MPO on the next system restart. As long as this key exists within inside of this location, MPO will be disabled on your system. So we can exit out of the registry and it's then disabled. At this point, go and boot in some of your favorite games, use 
your favorite applications, make sure that your system is completely running right and that you aren't running into any new issues. If you do run into any potential issues or if you didn't really need the fix in the first place and you just wanted to experiment around or you want to disable this for any reason, all you need to do is simply make use of the reg backup you created earlier. Or if you want to disable this yourself manually, simply head down to the Windows button, search for reg edit once again, double click. You'll more than likely find that you're going to be brought back into the location you were previously in, but if you aren't, that's completely fine. If you want to double check that you are the correct location on your system, all you need to do is make sure that your path directory at the top matches mine. As long as you're in HK Local Machine, Software, Microsoft, Windows, DWM, you're good to go. But just in case you weren't brought back to the previous location that you're in, we'll start off with inside of the main screen, go to HK Local Machine, go down to Software, double click, scroll down to the M section, find Microsoft, scroll down towards the bottom, go into Windows, scroll down, DWM, double click, then on the right hand side find overlay test mode and if you would like to restore the setting back to stock which is MPO enabled, all you need to do is go to overlay test mode, right click, delete. Yes. Simply restart your system and MPO will then be restored. And it's just as quick and easy as that. Again, you can apply that on AMD Radeon GPUs, Nvidia GPUs, Intel Arc GPUs. If you're experiencing any of those issues we talked about earlier on in the video, definitely give this a try because this does seem to be working for many people. If you're still running into any issues such as black screens, glitching games, crashes, blue screens, gray screens, or just weird GPU or visual errors with inside of your PC, but disabling MPO hasn't really done much for you, there are a few other options in which are available, which I'll give a quick shout out to. First of all, I'd highly recommend doing a complete DDU or display driver uninstall of all of your current GPU drivers. If you want to go one step further with that, for those of you on Nvidia GPUs, when installing your brand new GPU driver after clearing out all of the old rubbish on your system, I would highly recommend utilizing NV Cleanstall to create your own custom GPU driver where you can tailor the features built into the driver and remove the features you don't want. This reduces bloat, reduces CPU overhead, and can lead you to a much lighter weight driver which is more optimized for what you use your system for. Alongside this, you could look to disable as many overlays with inside of games as possible. If you found that you have GeForce Experience installed but you don't find yourself utilizing many of the features, especially if you're not utilizing Shadow Play or any of the on-screen overlays, I would recommend in your next driver installation, probably just skip out GeForce Experience entirely. If you don't need it on your system and you're not using it, it's always best to have it removed so it's one less thing that can go wrong or potentially reduce performance or introduce other issues. Alongside this, doing a complete DDU uninstallation of your GPU drivers is something that I would highly recommend doing in recent times as many of the 500 series drivers from Nvidia do seem to be bugged and are causing higher than usual CPU load at idle and when gaming. So it's a good idea to update your GPU drivers anyway. In an updated video which will be released to the channel soon, so make sure that you are subscribed to be notified as soon as it goes live, we'll be covering the latest updates to MV Clean Install which also contain fixes such as being able to disable HDCP at the driver level which could also lead you to slightly better performance and potentially fixing display errors as well. So if you haven't found a specific fix to any issues you could be experiencing on your PC currently and unfortunately you are still unlucky and disabling MPO hasn't fixed that for you, or you're not completely out of luck and there are tons of more optimizations, settings and adjustments you can make which could potentially fix the issue and in best case scenario give you a nice hefty performance bump on top. As always if you have found value in this video please do remember to leave a like as it does help me out tremendously and if you'd like to see how to get more out of your system without spending a penny, enhance FPS, lower input latency and get the best out of your machine, check out the two videos on screen now and I'll see you over there.